Greetings, this is Gintian, and we are playing on the realm of Vastin. That is Warlock Robbie, and he has just fixed a problem where he let some of my villagers escape, and he's gone through all the trouble of fixing it and putting them back. I believe he's got them all back where they were. This is the depository from the breeding center above them, but you're not supposed to put blocks underneath the bed. So I'm going to clean some of this up. And apparently he is going to continue beautifying my project, which is fine because he's definitely better at it than I am. But I'm going to, I don't want to let the villagers out. They breed up top and fall down below. Interesting. Again, we can't put blocks under the bed. Okay, that's all been cleaned up. And I'm not sure what Robbie is doing. Okay, he is working on <laughs> the rest of the... Now what are you doing? He replies, <laughs> making it pretty. Okay, let's go with that. Roscoll, he joined. I still want to be able to get in here and check on the farmer. You know what? I need to change I need to change the farmer. Roscoe asks if we're in the Nether. No. We're both at my castle. fun to watch. I don't always know what he is doing in advance. And we're moving right along. I gotta admit this does look a lot better than it did. Again, I'm using the jack-o'-lantern, so if I change the way I position that, it'll change colors. That fits better. to store my shulker boxes. That one has potions of weakness, which I will need with my villagers later. Thanks, very pretty.
No problem, that's my job. Ha ha ha. Now I want to go work on that farmer. And he leaves. Bye, Robbie. Now, I'm going to go over here. And this is going to look a little bit insane, but there's a method to this. I want to open up... Jeez. I want to open up a hole here. So that a zombie can wander in. That's so I can find it easily later. And this is why he's been zombified. He's now been treated with a weakness potion as well as a golden apple. And he should be recovered at any moment. It is amazing how long it takes to cure your villagers. But he should be cured any second. And there he's cured. And I achieve the achievement. Now he should turn back into a farmer at any moment. And now you can see he is back to being a farmer. And I need to take care of another villager that, if all goes well, I did tell you about. This guy escaped earlier, but I got him in a boat. And he needs to be cured. And I know this is going to take a really long time. I'm sure it's five, ten minutes, but it seems to just go on forever. That doesn't do anything but mess that up. So, what I want to do now is as soon as he's cured, I'm going to move him over to this area. So let me clean this up, and then I can worry about moving him in. And I've got him moved in, and the blocks around him are blast furnaces, so that makes him an armorer. And once I get him up to a higher level, he will trade with me for diamond armor. So now I have to make trades. I'm still working on cleaning this area up. So I have to trade with him and get his level higher, make him a master. So let me get to work on that and I'll be right back. I'm back, but I'm being attacked by this tiny zombie, baby zombie. Let's just agree that that did not go well. And now I gotta grab enough stuff that I can kill the zombie. Which is harder to do when he has my armor, helmet, and sword. I think this time I will use the bow shoot him from long range. 
let's see how this works. Ready? Fire! Keep firing! Until he dies. Done! Finally. Now let's just take a look. And you can see that he is now a master. I have traded with him until his level went up. And if we look, you can see that I can now get all of the pieces of the armor. And I only have to pay one emerald each. The reason I get them so cheaply is because this villager is one of the villagers that I... He was in the rowboat and I brought him back to life. So he's already been healed by me before he even got his profession. So with that in mind, I think that's all we can do for today. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.